day I am back with the fruits of my fancy pants play eat playing so um I was asked to be a guest designer for the fancy pants designs and they asked me which one I wanted I said send me the Halloween kit and I actually made four of these sets that I'm going to put together with you today but um I'm just going to show one of them well actually I'll just show like the final what I've got going on here. So this is a sample of what I've created. This is actually for a swap hosted by Mommy and Me Crafts. Um, and so this is what I ended up making with the Fancy Pants designs. But I'm just gonna put the whole shebang together here with you today and we can chit chat and you know, all the good stuff. So first things first is I made this clipboard and of course the the chipboard or not the chipboard the um the uh, what's it called you know the hard paper that's that's clear it didn't come from the fancy pants collection but it worked really well with that and then i just found this clip on amazon it's two and a half inches long because i have a whole bunch of like little ones and i'm like is that what people use when they make a clip? No. So you can get gigantic ones on Amazon. And so I just made this little clipboard like this. Um, it's a mini clipboard to hold all of the stuff that I'm making, or I should say most of the things that I have made for this. So first up, I made all of these little, um, and these are just like in the fancy pants collection colors. So this isn't actually paper that came from Fancy Pants. This is just a glitter paper that I got from Joann's, I believe. But I made all the candy corns to match. And so like the thing that makes these special is that they have purple on them. And I used largely Scrap Diva Designs um, dies for this. And a lot of her dies are no longer available, but they are coming soon. So um, they, will be, they will be around. So I'm going to just go ahead and put these in a little cello bag because my plan is, you know how when you buy stickers and it's a bunch of different ones and they have them kind of layered up? That's my plan for this. Oh my gosh. And now there's glitter all over the place. I know that lots of crafters hate glitter for that exact reason. So first up we have these candy corns and I kind of want to disperse them through there because they will add a little pop of color on the top. Um, if you're curious, I needed to include at least five different dies for this collection or for this swap. I needed to include um, 15 total dies or more. I needed to include a shaker um, collection that goes with the swap and a sweet treat. So I just used lots of Scrap Diva design dies for this and, um, and the Fancy Pants Designs collection. So I really have not crafted a whole lot for Halloween before. It's such a, a quick holiday um, that some people don't really celebrate and so I haven't done a whole lot. So this is my first year um, doing this. So it's, I've been having a lot of fun. My birthday is right around Halloween. It's on October 29th. So Halloween is just like inborn to my lifestyle. Um, and then as a teacher, we don't do a whole lot of Halloween stuff. In, in my district. In fact, we don't do any Halloween stuff just because some people don't like Halloween or celebrate Halloween. So anyway, these are the little um, skulls that you can get through the, um, through what's it called? Scrap Diva Designs. And it comes with like this little bow and the glasses and then the hat. And so I, you know what? I have never done a die swap before. And I really struggled with how to do this. So I mostly made kits, like die kits. And so hopefully whoever ends up with my collection will understand like what to do with it. <laughs> I'm like, is it okay that I'm just like putting together like things? And I thought, well, you know, you don't have to use the hats on the skulls if you don't want to. And obviously, you know, I just couldn't leave well enough alone. I had to take some of my tin holts um, an antique around the edges of the paper. So whatever, whatever, right? That's okay. And then the hats of course are the fancy pants designs and parts of the bows are the fancy pants designs on here. And then the little hearts just came out of the, 
the um, middle of the glasses, and I thought, well, why not include those? Because, you know, we can always use the hearts out in the world. Okay, so this is gonna be difficult now. I kinda wanted to have these hats like behind each skull. See, that's the, like, you know, when you do these swaps, it's not just getting stuff, it's how is it packaged? How cute is it? Because it's a lot about opening this up and getting the thing, yes, but it's mostly about what is the experience as you open it. So, I've got my little skulls here. Um, next up, I made, and this isn't any of the Fancy Pants paper, this is just cardstock, that's the word. And then actually these spiders are made out of just some packaging that I had that was black. And on the back you can see there's some white on there, but I liked that it was turning out kind of shiny and stiff. So for the spiders, and then I just included these um, five spider webs that are from the gumball add-on kit. And I made two holographic, one black and one purple, because that seemed really Halloween-y to me in that color collection. And then a couple little spiders in there. So those go in there. They're so delicate, but I, I think that they turned out really cool. As long as they cooperate and go in the bag together. <laughs> and drop those spiders down in there. Oops, that guy flipped over. I don't want him flipped over. I want to not see the white on the back. Come on back out, guy. Okay, we'll slide you back down in there. No, don't, no, no acrobatics this time. Okay, so that's part of that set. And then, what else do I have? I have, oh, the bow. So I, I the rainbow bow, I cut out of the scraps and I'm mailing it flat. Oops, I forgot to turn my hot glue gun on. Um, I'm mailing it flat and so I have this one on the side just to show what it looks like. But the fancy pants paper is all on the bows here. And then on the tails that go with the bows. So we'll just pop that right in there and then I'll show you how to make the bow in just a moment in case you've never seen how to do that before. <sighs> feels so funny to be doing Halloween right now because it is so warm in Washington right now. I think it's warm everywhere, but it's like so much warmer than usual. So here's another one of the kits that I made. And so there are all the pieces in here to make this cauldron. And then I included, just because I love it, this iridescent like bluish green, because I thought it could make a really cool shadow behind that steam that's rising out of the cauldron. So it could just kind of be behind like that. Um, it's just something that I have around. Everything else except for the sparkly stuff is from the Fancy Pants designs. But there's the back piece underneath there and I love using the skull paper. I think the skull paper and the purple paper are my two favorites. And then part of the gumball kit from Scrap Diva are all these little bones and the bats. And then in the shaker mix, you can see that there's some eyeballs that I made that are holographic. Come on. <laughs> They're like, oh, come on. There they go. Okay, so there's a bunch of eyeballs in there. There's bats and there are actually bones in there in, in the mix. Um, and then to put in the cauldron, I have the part of the swap was to include this mix and so I made a mix that was um, full of good stuff that matches the fancy pants design. So there's whites, purples, oranges, um, black, and there's like black polka dots. There's a lot of texture and variety in here. There's stars in here, just all kinds of fun stuff is just kind of chilling in here. And then I used a couple of the fancy pants um, ephemera pieces. So there's like a squash back here and then there's this cat. And then this is the candy corn that I made with um, the Scrap Diva designs and then the Fancy Pants paper. This is all Fancy Pants paper on here, but it just turned out really cute. And I meant to use a tree on here and accidentally used a bee. And I went, you know what? Bugs are kind of spooky too. So we'll go ahead and leave, leave that on there. So um, that is the sequin mix in the container. And then I got this little house on 
Amazon. And so I'll link all of that stuff below if you are interested in finding that or the little clips. Um, those will be linked below in the description box. And I bet you my hot glue gun is ready now so I can put this bow together. If I can get it out, for some reason it's being really persnickety today. It doesn't want to come out of my hot gun holster. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, because this is a couple layers, um, and I did use Fancy Pants paper for the back, and I shouldn't have done that because I, you can't see any of it on here. I'm just going to take a dowel she says before she actually has the dowel in her hand. I'm just gonna take this little dowel and I'm just gonna wrap this around to curl it. My son is starting high school this year. He's my youngest. I have two kids and he just, we live and walk within walking distance of the high school. And so he and my husband just went down and walked around the school to kind of get familiar with the lay of the land. Um, and my daughter graduated and she's taking a gap year and she is quite the seamstress. You may have seen me post her stuff before on Instagram. She does sell some things on Etsy, but you know, being a, a high school student, she hasn't been able to invest a ton of time in that. Um, but I'm hoping that she's going to spend her gap year actually doing a lot more sewing. She made her own prom dress this year and it was just absolutely gorgeous. She always wanted a really big poofy princess dress like Princess Aurora would wear. And so she made herself one. So there were all her friends with their like little sleek dresses and then my daughter wearing her gigantic dress. Okay, so I worked it and worked it and worked it until it had some good curve to it. And now you can see that it's going to just wrap around nicely like that. So I'm gonna put just a little dab of glue right here, just enough to tack it down. like so <laughs> i feel like a disney character you want to bat your eyes like this you know sebastian from little mermaid you want to pucker your lips like this and if you find that when you um put it down you get corners you can always just take your dowel put it back in roll it around a little bit and then this piece is just the like the middle part i'm just gonna wrap it around like that Put a little glue and I'm just using hot glue because it goes fast for the purpose of the video. I use hot glue sometimes and sometimes I don't. And the other thing you can do is you can just bypass that little piece of paper and just put some actual fabric or something on there. But I'm just trying to use nothing but what comes with the Scrap Diva. And I'm also going to put a little bit of glue here and here just to secure everything really well and smoosh it down like so and that oops <laughs> as it sticks to my fingers that's the rainbow bow so that's what these guys will become so it's kind of just i i love it because it takes the whole whatever paper from your paper collection that you want to use and um, combines everything to one cohesive piece and uses everything all together so just a really cool little piece. Okay, so I think that is everything for um, that we're using for the clip. And so now I'm just gonna put this together and layer it. So I'm gonna put these at the very back so that they stay um, protected. Put that on top. And then the things that have the foam in them, I'm going to put those next because it will start to lift. And these bags, I just get them on Amazon. I try to buy from small businesses as much as possible, but there are some things that when you buy them from a small business, as a small business owner, it's not cost effective for me. And so I end up going to Amazon as much as I would love to be like, I'm going to the small business to buy my cello bags. It's just not, I just can't do it, you know? Um, and then I'm gonna put my candy corns. Do you see what I mean when I said like I'm going to kind of try to layer it up? And it's hard because <laughs> it's so slippery. Okay, now I'm going to measure it out there. Just eyeball it and I'm going to fold over my acetate or my solo bags. Sorry. And I'm 
sorry you're having to watch all this. Ah, see, look at that. They just, every time I, I switch it out, they get all cattywampus. Okay, is that where I need to be? Right there. Needs to be just a little bit shorter. Right there, yeah, okay, so right there. And then from Fancy Pants Designs, I have this bag topper. It's just really simple. It's two skulls side by side, and then it has the fold over. And I put a paper clip in between, which is why this cello piece is in there, so I can slide this in really easy. And I'm gonna take out the piece of acetate um, when I'm done putting it on here. But it just like streamlines the process a little bit because finding the two sides of the paper clip with this floppy, cellophane is hard and if I put that acetate in there it just kind of made it a little easier to have that slide up in there okay so there we go like that okay and then I'm gonna slide out the acetate and I think this is ugly so I'm gonna go ahead and trim that with my good scissors. I don't know about you, but every time I get a new pair of scissors, I put a different symbol on them. So like these are old scissors. <laughs> they have a heart on them. The stars are my good scissors. And so they're my sharpest ones. My older ones, I'll use those to cut things that are gummy or whatever. But my good scissors are nice and sharp and protected. And my family knows, do not use mom's star scissors only use the other ones. Okay, so now that that is done, I can just clip that right there, like that. And of course you can keep adjusting it and playing with it all you want. And then I made these little tags. There's a whole bunch of them. They say trick or treat. Here, let me loosen that up just a little bit because it's just gonna wreck them. They say trick or treat. Happy haunting. There's two that say happy haunting. One is in brown ink, one's in black ink. Eek, spooky, boo, and then happy haunting again. And there are others that say like, hello sugar. And um, I don't remember what they are, what, what they all say, but those are also from Scrap Diva Erica. So right there. I'm just gonna tie that on to the top there. And those are some more of the dies for the collection that I've created. And it looks cute, okay? So the next thing, I'm gonna put this all to the side. So those are two of the products that are going into this swap. I made, we had to include a sweet treat. Sweet treat means whatever you want. So I made this as one of the dies and I went, this is not a die, this is just like a completed shaker. So this is another one of the Erica's um, Scrap Diva, and it's the Easter gumball machine, but tricked out with the, the Halloween swag. And then you can see there's, like, it's all made with the Fancy Pants Designs Halloween paper, and then it's got the little ephemera piece on there. And then there's like the Fancy Pants candy corn that I created. And then I just put stars inside because there was already so much going on here that I didn't want to distract a whole bunch. I love the colors of this collection. I love the muted purple, orange, and the browns. I just, I really, really love it. And the more I worked with it, the more I loved it. <laughs> it was just a really fun one to, um, to mess around with. So I'm just gonna seal that. So anyway, this is part of the sweet treat, but the real sweet treat that I created was this little shaker that is in the Fancy Pants Designs colors. So it's got black, orange, and purple on there. And I know that they're more brown, but I didn't have brown, I had black, and so I went with that. So there's this little dangle here, and then I made this, um, this clip using the Fancy Pants um, ephemera pieces. So there's the card and then it has, I put the little um, folder, what do you even call those? I can't remember. Divider, whatever. And then some ephemera on there and um, and then I created this rosette and then used one of the puffy stickers on there. And I also need to put, where is it? 
And this, this is like the bling from Erica. Ah, I was trying to put one of the little enamel dots, but I've misplaced the enamel dots now. Shoot. Okay, well, I'll just show you what I was doing. It's just really simple. It's not a, not a tremendously huge deal. I just wanted to put a little enamel dot like that on there. Cause you know, like just adding those little bits and pieces, just make it just come to life a little bit more. So I'll just do that later, I guess, once those turn up. I swear to you, I put them right over here so that I would have access to them during this video. Oh, that's driving me crazy. Okay, whatever. Let's move along with our lives. Um, so anyway, I need to go ahead and put my eyelet on here. And I get these on Amazon too because it's such a good price. And I always like to add the eyelets because they just make everything a little more solid, a little more firm. And my crocodile is absolutely one of my favorite, favorite tools. I remember like really going, oh, do I want to buy it? Cause they're expensive. And then um, it's turned out to be one of those things I use just constantly. Okay. <laughs> Why can't I get this to open up? Okay. Just trying to slide this in between the two pieces of... Oh! No wonder, it's not folded over. This is just gonna clip on. Okay, sorry about that. Little, little brain bubble there. So anyway. <laughs> This is part of the Fancy Pants paper, and it just goes over the top of this. This is just a super duper easy way to make a bag topper. And then this, you just glue the back side of the, you take a piece of paper, clip it on, and then you glue the other side of the clip on there. And then it just slides on like this. So with the other bag topper that I made with the skulls, I, um, I hid the, the uh, paper clip, which is why I got so confused right then. Okay, so I'm sorry about that. Total, total brain bubble. Brain bubble is um, elementary teacher way of saying brain, F-A-R-T. <laughs> we, we say brain bubble instead. Okay, and then this just gets clipped on to, oh, come on. I've got butter fingers right now. Just gets clipped onto here. And then that is my sweet treat that goes with my swap. And that is the entirety of what I made for that swap. And using my um, Fancy Pants Happy Halloween paper collection. And I think that everything turned out really, really cute. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And were I to receive this as a swap, I would be pretty excited. I love, this is one of my favorite pieces of the ephemera is that, are the, the um, word cards. I don't know if it's the teacher in me or if other people like, other people must like them too because I see them a lot. Okay, last step is just to wrap these up and get them ready to send out to Patty. And by the time you see this, this will already have been revealed on Patty's site. So um, you don't have to keep it quiet for me or anything, okay? So I'm just gonna take that, put this at the bottom, wrap that over, and then I'm gonna flip this upside down so it protects the rosette and it just nestles in there. And then I'm gonna turn that over and I'm having problems because there we go. Okay. And I'm going to close it. Oops. We're on the move here. I'm going to close it with one of my Urban Forager stickers. So whoever receives this knows who it came from. And then taking the cello bag so everything stays together. I'm going to turn this under. Turn this under and I'm going to carefully slide it in. 
And then a couple years ago, I found these really cool candy corn cabochons but I've never used them. And so I'm just kind of using them as a little bit of packaging. My son found these on my desk yesterday and he was like, mom, I tried to eat one of those and just about broke my tooth. And I'm like, you never know what your mom's gonna have at her desk. <laughs> Looks like candy, but it's plastic. And then that's my packaging for that. And just thank you to you for sticking around, hanging out with me, wrapping things up, chitter chatting. Oh, I love how a couple of the candy corns have snuck underneath the packaging. No, no, no. Okay, they need to stay right there. So thank you so much for sticking around and hanging out with me while I put together this package. And thank you to Fancy Pants Designs for enabling me to use your paper and to create such a fun little collection. Cheers to everyone. I'll see you next time.